Welcome to How to Be a Camera Operator. This is one of the cameras you'll be using in broadcasting. The first thing you need to do when you're a camera operator is put the headset on. The headset controls are on the black box, which is stored on the camera tripod. When you push the talk button, it allows you to talk to the rest of the crew. The volume control is the gray dial next to the talk button. Adjust to the levels that are comfortable for you. Now that you have your headset on, let's go to the camera operator's top 10. <laughs> Number 10. Focus control. The focus control is on the left tripod arm. Number 9. Zoom control. The zoom control is on the right tripod arm. Use the rocker switch to zoom in and out. Number 8. The proper way to focus a shot. First, zoom in on the person's nose. Then focus the shot. Third, zoom out and set your shot. Number seven, the safe zone. The safe zone is the box in the viewfinder. It is important to keep your shot in this box. Number six, the rule of thirds. This is the imaginary tic-tac-toe board on the screen used to line up the shot. Center the talent's eyes on the top horizontal line. Number five, teleprompters. The teleprompters are on cameras one and two, not on camera three. Number four, dollying. This is moving the whole tripod from side to side. Use the center of the tripod for a smoother move. Number three, trucking. This is moving the whole tripod forward and back. Again, use the center of the tripod. Number two, panning. This is rotating the camera side to side. Make sure the knob is loosened. And number one, tilting. This is moving the camera up and down. Again, make sure the tilt handle is loose. And now the not top 10, what not to do as a camera operator. Number 10, poor focus. Do not let your shot get soft or fuzzy. Number 9, bad headroom. Do not let your shot get poor headroom. Make sure your talent is centered with their eyes on the top horizontal line. Number 8, bad nose room. In an interview, do not make it look like your subjects are talking into a wall. Make sure they have good nose room by placing them on the left or right vertical. Number 2, talking. Do not talk. Never talk while a production is in progress. The sensitive lav mics will pick up what you are saying and will ruin the production. And number one, camera handles. Never try to move the camera without loosening the handles. This can permanently damage the tripod. Now that you know the basics, you have what it takes to be a successful camera operator. To be a successful student in broadcasting, there are some simple fieldwork rules you need to follow. If you are ever in doubt as to whether something is acceptable, don't do it. When filming in the school, remember your camera and your press pass is your hallway pass. You must have both. Make sure to only use the camera you are assigned. Never shoot in the main office. Shooting through windows, into classrooms or faculty rooms is not allowed. Horseplay such as sliding down banisters or engaging in physical conflict is absolutely not permitted. Remember that you are being monitored by the security cameras at all times. Now, let's move on to cleanup procedures. When you are done shooting in the hallways, there are some important things you must do. Make sure to return your press passes to the designated area. Remove your tape and place it in the proper drawer. If the battery is half full, remove it and put it in the charger. Place the camera in the bag, zip it up, and place it on the proper shelf. Return the tripod with the legs folded and the arm lowered to its spot in the closet behind the green screen. If you don't follow these rules, you will be confined to the studio for the rest of the year. Do you want to be a talent? Without the talent, there'd be no show. A talent is a production member who performs for the camera. 
To be a successful talent, there are many things to keep in mind, including articulation, appearance, and wardrobe. A talent should always speak clearly and with proper emphasis. Be sure to look over your script before taping to make sure you know how to properly pronounce and enunciate all words. As a talent, appearance is also a major factor. It is important to remember some basic rules. Let's start with hair. The ideal on-screen hairstyle for guys is a traditional cut, and for girls is shoulder-length hair. As talent, never attempt any wild hairstyles. Also, you do not want to wear too much jewelry or anything too gaudy or shiny. Make sure necklaces are not too close to the lavalier mic. Bracelets should not be large as the noise they will make on the desk will be picked up by the mics. Now let's move on to wardrobe. Before you go to the closet to select your favorite outfit, keep in mind that the TV camera sees color, pattern, and contrast differently than the human eye. Keep the outfit simple, professional, and low key. The audience should focus on you, not what you're wearing. Do not wear black and white. White affects the color balance. Never wear loud patterns such as stripes or plaids. Glittery material like sequins or other shiny items like jewelry that can affect the lighting are a no. Don't wear things with distracting logos. On the flip side, you should wear medium range colors like blue, red, maroon, purple, and green. But do not wear green on the green screen. You will become invisible. Do you know what the best color to wear on camera is? Is it blue? Maybe green? Think yellow? Red? Black or white? If you said red, you're correct. Go get a piece of candy from Mersia. Psych! Nah, she doesn't like you. You guys are minors. Just saying. Okay, now let's review. The talent is the show. Speak clearly and enunciate. Make sure you have appropriate hair and go easy on the jewelry. Make sure your wardrobe is up to par. Red is the best color to wear. Never wear black or white. Alright, now you're ready to be a perfect talent. So get out there and shine like a superstar. Welcome to Springford's TV studio. Many important jobs are needed to run the studio properly. One of the most important is the teleprompter. Without the teleprompter, the talent has nothing to read. Without the talent, there's no audio. And with no audio, comes no show. The first aspect to completing the job as teleprompter is to find your correct seat in front of the computer monitor. The username and password are located on the top right of the monitor. Now is when your script comes into play. Once approved, there are many ways to import your script, including flash drives, CDs, or emailing the script to wsft at springford.net. In order to retrieve the script from email, open up Microsoft Office Outlook. Find the email and open it. Copy and paste it in FlipQ. And make sure the font style is Arial and the size is 72. This is done by clicking on the AA button or on the top toolbar. Located in the bottom box labeled display settings, make sure primary display settings are set to normal and secondary display settings are set to mirrored. Once done importing or typing your script, either click the lightning bolt button or F8 on the keyboard to route the teleprompter to the camera. Now the talent can read the script from the desk without breaking eye contact. Be sure to keep a steady pace and allow the talent to dictate the speed. Do you ever wonder why your shots are different colors like yellow or blue? This is because the camera's white balance is not adjusted properly. The white balance ensures that all the colors will be rendered properly. 
Without white balancing the camera, the colors will look tinted yellow or blue. The white balance adjustment is on the left side of the camera. It is a knob that pops out. In order to manually adjust the white balance, the knob needs to be turned to one, two, or three. To white balance the camera, place a white piece of paper in front of the camera. Zoom in on the paper, focus the shot, and push the set button next to the white balance knob. In a few seconds, the camera will be adjusted. If you move to a different location, the camera must be white balanced again. If you are transitioning from different lighting, you can change the white balance while filming. Welcome to the seventh grade center for the start of another exciting day. <laughs> All right, wake up, Spring Ford. Get rowdy. Let's get giddy delicious.
Welcome to Evans Elementary.
Give me that countryside. It's not that easy being green Having to spend each day the color of the leaves When I think it could be so much nicer Being red, yellow or gold Or something much more colorful like that
challenge. Dude, it's the last bite. Come on, you gotta finish it. Dude, it's the last bite. Come on, you gotta finish it. <laughs> Dude, it's the last bite. Come on, you gotta finish it. <laughs> Would you like to order right away? Yes, I, I think we're ready. <laughs> the pancake challenge. Come on, dude, it's the last bite. Come on, you gotta finish it.
go. Dude, if I was really doing this, I would die. Okay, I'm recording. Welcome to Wolfgang Books. Located in the heart of Phoenixville, the store is filled with new, used, and rare books. The new book collection is composed of thousands of newly released and classic titles that are hand-picked to provide an optimum selection. The rare book room is a staple of Wolfgang Books. Wolfgang Books pride themselves on having one of the very few rare book rooms in the Delaware Valley. There are also many carefully chosen and moderately priced used books throughout the store. The free student readership program is designed to help students save money. Every time a student shops in the store, they receive a discount on their purchases. Participants can also register to receive important emails about upcoming events. The reading room is home to many book club meetings. Additionally, 
Wolfgang Books has partnered with Steel City Coffee House for a reading series that brings a diverse range of authors to Phoenixville. For more information on dates and times regarding the book club meetings, check out www.wolfgangbooks.com or www.facebook.com slash wolfgangbooks. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. And that's what she said. That's what she said. Oh, shit. I'll count down for you. Sorry, ready? Three, two, one. That's what she said. Three, two, one. That's what she said. 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 Pay attention. Hello. 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 And welcome to Parent Night. I'm Zach. I'm Meredith. It's Katie. I hope you're having a splendid time tonight. Check out your tax dollars at work with the new Mac. Merge Eleanor, remember, three is the squiggly one. To find yourself, think for yourself. <laughs> I'm ready. To find yourself, think for yourself. To find yourself, I find myself to think for yourself. To think to myself that I love 
to do Kaya for Coach Darling. Not a guy. Good work, buddy. To find yourself, think for yourself. <laughs> to find yourself, think for yourself. A journey of a thousand miles begins this one step. The only thing to fear is fear itself. Float like a butterfly. Float like a butterfly. Float like a butterfly. Sting. Sting like, like a bee. Welcome to a world where anything is possible. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to a world. To a world. To a world where, where anything. Anything. Where anything is possible. <laughs> Life is not a problem to be solved, but a reality to be experienced. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more to life than being really, 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 ridiculously good looking. And I plan on finding out what that is. The right man and man 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 the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. Place can make all the difference in the world. Remember to think your prayers. <laughs> the right man. All right. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. The doors we open and close each day decide the lives we live. Live, 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 live. We live. Think left. Think right. Think low. Think high. Oh, the things you can think up if only, if only, if only you try. Strength. Strength. Strength is only how well you. Well you is only how well you hide, hide the, the pain. pain. The pain. The pain. The pain. To find yourself. To find yourself. To find yourself. Think for yourself. Think for yourself. <laughs> to find yourself. Think for yourself. To find yourself. To find yourself. To find yourself. Think for yourself. Think for yourself. To find yourself. Think for yourself. <laughs> every man dies. Not every man truly lives. I'm pretty sure there's a lot more to life than being really, 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 really. Really, 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 ridiculously good looking. And I plan on finding out what that is. Hi. 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 Howdy. Hi. Hi. This is Brian, Drew, Scott, Kenny. We're hat, 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 hat. Glad to see ya. 
So we can throw this Par party. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. <laughs> and take the scenic route home. Hello. 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 And welcome to Parent Night. I'm Zach. I'm Meredith. It's Katie. I hope you're having a splendid time tonight. Welcome to How to Be a Camera Operator. 